Good morning. I'm Elizabeth. I am the Catholic lady and I like to talk. Um, I'm going to share um, today's readings for you. Um, today is July 17th and these are the mass readings that we had today. Um, I was running a little late this morning so I wasn't able to do it before mass so I'm doing it now and I'm letting you watch my butterfly bush behind me. It's quite busy with butterflies and hummingbirds today, so I thought I'd share that. Okay, so the first reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verses 1 through 10. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, and as he sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot, looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them. And bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves and afterwards you may go on your way. The men replied, very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened to the tent and told Sarah, quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk as well as the steer that had been prepared and set these before the three men, and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, where is your wife Sarah? And he replied, there in the tent. And one of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. Uh, now the the second reading is usually the psalm. Today's psalm is Psalm 15, verses 2, 3, 4, and 5. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. One who walks blamelessly and does not justice, and one who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who lends not his money at ursery, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. Okay, and now the second reading is from Colossians. It is chapter 1. Uh, it's actually from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, and it's chapter 1, verses 24 through 28. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, and of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you and hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. And now the gospel. This is usually read by the deacon or the priest during the mass. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. This is chapter 10, 38 through 42. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, 
who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. And the Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So these were our lessons today. And um, it talks about Martha. She's very cherished in, in many people's hearts. Um, she's one of those people who fusses around and, you know, everyone's got one in their family that uh, is running around always trying to do everything and make sure everything is perfect. And um, uh, sometimes may get a little, you know, disturbed that somebody's not helping her that should be. And, um, but we need to remember that when we are reading Christ, reading Christ's words, and when we're uh, practicing our faith, we have to remember the important things and that we put Jesus first in all things. The other things will come as they may. We don't have to worry about them. We don't have to um, get ourselves all worked up because we're afraid that something's going to go wrong. Trust in Jesus and our lives will be so much better. Mine, I've been doing my best. I know it's the hard thing to do, <laughs> but um, with all the things that I've been through in the last year, letting Jesus take the wheel has been a very difficult one for me because I've always been one of those people, like Martha, who's fussing around <laughs> trying to make sure everything goes perfectly. So I'll pray for you, you pray for me, God bless and have a wonderful Sunday. Amen.